looking like asparagus, but it's Japanese knotweed, as you probably know. This pretty invasive wild plant um, that is considered pretty invasive in the United Kingdom and Ireland, and uh, it's rapidly taking over. But everybody dislikes this plant. I, I have to say, I would love to find and I like um, seeing its good benefits. Uh, as referring to its edibility and the medicinal benefits, yeah, it's medicinal. Um, I'll tell you what I'm doing with this plant. This is pretty huge. Um, it's edible, shoots are edible. So I'm harvesting, in early spring I'm harvesting uh, these shoots, which if you, um, if you get them at the right time, it should be around 12, 18 inches tall, then it's nice and tender, it remains tender. I'm trying to video with one uh, hand, so it's more difficult for me. This one is pretty small, but I would still take it because it will grow fast. Um, as I said, it's, it's pretty edible. It's nice. It's got tart taste, similar to sorrel and rhubarb. This one is huge, but I would still take it. It would remind you of um, asparagus, but with its taste, as I said, with its taste and flavor, it's rather um, lemony. People make jams, jellies, even soups. Or it's very nice and interesting taste in um, in desserts. You can combine strawberry and not wheat, Japanese not wheat shoots in a beautiful dessert. So yeah, it's invasive. It's taking over, but not if you know how to fix it like if you know how to look after it if you cut all the shoots it's it, it's it, it's actually reproducing by its rhizomes by the roots not by the shoots so you can you can avail of it that's what i think it's medicinal as well so i'm gathering these spring shoots i'll show you more of them here and in fall i am trying to dig in fall I'm trying to dig roots for very useful remedy for Lyme disease. So these are my spring shoots, my shoots that I was uh, cutting now. If, you, if, you, uh, if you're a bit busy and you don't have time to fix it, you can freeze it for later reference as, might do, as I might do tonight. But uh, I am planning to make some soup with it. In the way like leek and potato soup with sunflower seed milk so in the lemony way i might do a little dessert as well i'm using uh, ingredients that are quite nice in it and i might juice it because juice is pretty good it's helping you with lowering your cholesterol and there are more benefits i know that the whole japanese not um japanese not plant has got immune fac function uh, benefits. Um, it enhances your immunity. Not that only it's anti-inflammatory for arthritis and bacterial inflammations, but it protects body against endotoxins damage, which is, I think, very interesting. Um, but I wanted to tell you something about the root because most of the people, they don't know that root is great medicine. See, there is another one. Um, okay, normally you should dig roots in fall, of course, when the whole strength is concentrated in the roots. I have some nettle roots here because I dug them just by accident when I was trying to pull this huge, um, you see, orangey color root of Japanese knotweed. I will wash it perfectly, dry it and grind it up and I'll use it for lime remedy. That kind of tincture is very interesting and very good uh, just because it can helps with it can help with Lyme disease so far I knew about uh, about the teasel root for healing from um, Lyme disease but Japanese not root if you make tincture it can enhance blood flow and blood flow to the eyes and heart and skin and joints 
it stimulates formation of new blood vessels and healing of damaged ones in let's say burnt skin but most important it does interest me because of, of healing of Lyme disease um, what else as far as I learned this Japanese knotweed root is strong inhibitor of cytokine cascades initi initiated by bacteria during which is happening during Lyme infection so that's the only herb that block induction of something that is happening during Lyme infection sorry I forgot the, the name it's quite difficult to pronounce it but it, it's happening during Lyme infection and it's a great inhibitor this li this um, Japanese knot wheat root so as I said you can cut it, chop it, dry it, grind it up and then you can tincture it with some strong alcohol and leave it up in alcohol for about eight weeks even longer and then you can use it so not just for this Lyme disease but it, it helps with uh, lowering your cholesterol um, there are more benefits more benefits in these roots but uh, it's great remedy um, okay back to the shoots that I'm on now as I said you can use it in salads in the raw way you can do some raw truffles you can uh, use it as the veg it just got the lemony taste um, you can juice it you can uh, actually you can fix it like asparagus but you have to fix it with the certain um, spices these are nice I'll get those later on um, oh, let me see. those shoots will be back in fall I think so I'll be getting them again but now it's the best time for shoots This is the inside part of how it looks like and this is the size that you should be getting that's the max size then it's getting it's forking then later on and it's getting rather woody that's what you want to um, avoid um, yeah so it's interesting plant it's not just that it's invasive and um, back to the root it's got a wide range of actions like it's antibacterial antiviral antifungal immunomodulant anti-inflammatory antioxidant and even anti-carcinogenic so it does enhance your immunity i think it's interesting and it's worth harvesting food wise and and remedy medicine like